Armani, Versace, Dolce & Gabbana, Prada, Valentino, all the greatest Italian designers are all represented here in Nashville in the new exhibit at the Frist Center for the Visual Arts. It's called Italian Style. Trinita Kennedy is the curator for this beautiful exhibit. So tell me what Italian Style is all about. So Italian style um, has really dominated world fashion now for about 70 years and um, there are dozens of important Italian designers from Armani to Versace, um, Prada to Pucci and they're all here in this exhibition and we really get to see how glamorous and fun Italian style is. And, um, and you see it right when you walk in. Tell me about this beautiful display. All right, so right behind us we have um, two ensembles by Gucci, and these are from 2004 to 2005. Um, they were designed by Tom Ford, an American designer who worked for Gucci as the creative director for many years. Um, but they're, they're very sexy, very body conscious, luxurious, and um, well made. Um, so I think right from the start you get to see what Italian fashion is all about. So you enter a room full of spectacular ball gowns, it's hard to know what to look at first. Yes, there's so many beautiful gowns in this uh, gallery. So these were um, all designers that participated in some of the earliest fashion shows in Florence in the 1950s. And these shows were held in a glamorous uh, ballroom at the Palazzo Pitti in Florence. Um, and the ballroom is known as the Sala Bianca. Um, but you see here um, the extraordinary ability of Italian designers to make uh, haute couture um, on par with the French. Um, and in many cases, um, these dresses are just a little bit, um, I think, more fun than what the French were producing at the same time. Hollywood was really influenced by Italian fashion, and you see this in this gallery. Absolutely. So this gallery is dedicated to the idea of Hollywood on the Tiber, which is what Rome was known as in the 1950s and 60s. And during this period, films such as Roman Holiday, Cleopatra, La Dolce Vita were filmed in Rome, and um, stars were seen wearing Italian fashion on and off screen. Like this dress that Audrey Hepburn's wearing. Yes, this is by a designer called Gattinoni, and it's really when you look at the dress um, on Audrey Hepburn that you see it come alive and how it flows on the dance floor. There's a brooch by, uh, worn by Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, that's a Bulgari brooch. So she was um, a, a big fan of Bulgari and acquired many pieces when she was filming Cleopatra in Rome. And this dress here was worn by Lee Radswell to Truman Capote's Black and White Ball, which was held in 1966 um, at the Plaza Hotel in New York. Um, it was called the, the Party of the Century. This exhibition spans several decades and we're looking at some that are in more the modern era. Yes, yeah, so this room has designers who are working today and they're really the most famous Italian designers um, with a cult following. Mm -hmm. um, so we have everyone from Roberto Cavalli to uh, Donatello Versace and we even have a dress here by Versace uh, worn by Celine Dion. That's a pretty dramatic dress. It doesn't look like Celine to me. No, it is something that um, she wore on stage and looked great in. Yeah. This floral dress is the centerpiece of this gallery. <laughs> Tell me about it. So it's by a young designer named John Battista Valli, and he is often seen on Amal Clooney these days, um, George Clooney's wife. Yes. The dress with the ruffles, totally a showstopper in this room. It is, it is. Um, so that dress is by Roberto Capucci, and um, his designs are known for being like sculpture or architecture, so he's a real artist. Yes. There's so many beautiful things to see here. Uh, Italian style runs through the 7th of September here at the Frist Center for the Visual Arts. Thanks so much for giving us a tour. Thank you. You can find out more at fristcenter.org.